Pete, looks like you've been uh, busy. Busy. Uh, yeah, that's the word, busy. Um, this is the point where it starts to really come together now. So this is where all your moments of doubt and <clears throat> frustration um, start to pay off in some way because you can actually see that all that planning you've done and all that care you've taken about detail starts to even please you, you know what I mean? And, and at the end of the day, that's what you've got to do. You've got to feel, you know, that you, what you've done is, is for a purpose. So today, or this weekend, is what we're doing is the last big challenge is we have to fix the station in. Okay. Because um, we're, all the buildings will be taken out for transport. And Dave will probably show you his cases later, which are fantastic. We look like a rock band going on tour now. Um, but this has to be fixed, and that's a, a big job because, as you can see here, um, I've started to paint all the legs because right. they're all white with green bottoms. And today, all the boys, the big job is all the buildings have got to have all the posters put on them. Right. So all the buildings have got to have the posters put on before we can move any further um, and it's not a big job but it is a time-consuming job okay and it, you know it's it's if you don't do it but it takes you two or three hours because you can see how many posters there are down the station and we we're doing both sides I know you technically you needn't do the other side because you can't see it but we said if somebody puts a camera on one of the television companies you will see that there's no there's no you know posters on one side so that's what we're doing next. Aaron's actually started to put the wires up, but you know, we, he can't put these wires up till we've got the station finished. Right. But um, he's already started down here. And I have to say, you know, I know he's fantastic, but we've got another guy now called John, who actually did the real thing. And between them, I, I've just never seen modeling like it. I mean, it's just, it is surreal. Um, and I put the wires up last week because I do a lot in the week, you know, because I get a couple of hours here and there. Right. And Aaron had said to me before, he's, before he left, which I'd forgotten, mm. that when you go around corners, your droppers are all the same way round to get you around the corner. And of course, I put them left and right. Oh, okay. So the first thing he said, no, I told you. And as soon as he went, I went, they're all the same handy. So he took them off on uh, Thursday and they put them... Put them back. They put them right and they've also re-spaced... Some of the mass, I couldn't work that out at all because, of course, the truth is, when you're making a model, where our curves are too tight, you know. Right. I mean, even on us in this we're compressing size, compressing it. Yeah, we're compressing it. So, but I mean, um, Hornby magazine were here and they took a picture of, of one of the locos, which is why they're sitting there. And I've got to tell you, even I was impressed. And Paul hasn't even, you know, started on that's that. that we've only got two boards that Paul hasn't yet really done. So today, we, you know, I've started on all the greenery. As you can see, there's more trees since you were last year. Yeah, and there's a uh, road as well, a yeah, road. Yeah, I'm working on the road today and trees and car parks. Right. Paul's going to put all the scenery, uh, greenery on the bottom and come up and there's put a lawn on this, this building here. So although there's still a lot to be done, it's detailed now. Right. And, and if you, you just go forever. Yeah, well, you know, I think this week we may have gone too far. Good. <laughs> because uh, uh, I'm sure Chris can show you his latest idea, which is absolutely bloody fruitcake. Go on, then. But, well, <laughs> you can go to, into super detail if you're modelling that much, yes. OK? If you're doing a diorama or something like that, you can go into extreme detail, yes. which is what, of course, the armoured guys do. I mean, you look at some of the bomb buildings with the Panzer tanks and all that. It's yeah. phenomenal. But you can't do that on 54 feet. But oh. Chris, we noticed that one of the things about Milton Keynes, they're all plastic bins. Right. And I don't mean plastic. They're, they're bin liners and see-through. So, you, you know, anti-terrorism. Yes. Yeah. So he's actually printed those off, but he's also printed some Coke cans, which are about that big, to put in them, which I think is just maybe taking it a bit too far, because well, you can't even see them when they're in your hands. 
So you're not going to send them three feet away. Well, I have to keep pinching myself because this isn't an installation of a model railway. This is a one-off and it's mobile on top of all of that. Yes. I mean, come on, it's just yes. ridiculous that... ended months ago. This is beyond. Yes. And when you think of we're on, we're on day, today is day 27. Right. So what you see here, plus the three boards that you can't see, that's 27 days work. Right. So people work for a lifetime and never finish their layout. Yes. Yet this is what we've achieved in 27 days from nothing. So from a bare board to this, it's 27 working days. It's, it's amazing Dave's not here to tell us about the baseboards. <laughs> How long they well, took. Well, Dave's not here, but he will be. Yes. And he will have these whacking great transit cases that he's built for the station. They, they look fantastic, I say. When we go to the cathedral and down to Milton Keynes, we'll look like a rock band on tour. I mean, I'm feeling we're getting a bit Pink Floyd as well. We're all going to stand in front of all the boxes at Milton Keynes and have a picture taken like that, like Pink Floyd did Smoking with all the, the roadies. Drink. Oh, blimey. I'll have to bring my drone and get some video of it being loaded up. Well, when you think it's going to be... To Milton Keynes, we've worked out we're going to need five Luton vans. Right. I mean, that's a lot. But, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. How many people? Well... Is that 10 people just to get you there? Well, the problem we've got, of course, the majority of us are over 70. And when you're over 70, you can't hire a van. Mm, right. So it's down to the younger members like John and, and uh, Phil to drive a van. Three of the guys from Hornby are driving vans. But the majority of us can't drive vans. So, you know, that, that's another problem. Mm. It's not a problem for Chester because they, they use a removal company who live around the corner. They're right. great. So if we take an extra trip, it's no big deal. Right. You know, instead of three, two, we'll probably have to do three this year because, because of the width of these two boards. But um, it's these buildings, once you take them off and put them in these flight cases, you know, it really does take on a whole different dimension. You've got the name of the band painted on the side. Yeah. You know, Dave's Travelling Circus. There's baseboards in here. Yeah, there's baseboards. The, the, you know, the thing is, the amount that Dave has built, right. considering he didn't want to build the extra eight boards for, for, for this year's layout, to have to then build another 27 fiddle boards, I think we got away with murder, you know what I mean? Don't tell him now, but I think we got away with murder. I think he enjoyed it secretly. Oh, he does. I, I mean, the great thing for Dave is, he loves working. He just, he, yeah. you know, he, he's, he doesn't like retirement. Um, and he's got a fantastic workshop. I mean, he's equipped his workshop out fantastic. So if you look around at all the actual wood, I mean, it's over 5,000 quid worth of wood here. Yeah, I can believe it. I was at Dave's workshop last month filming. Yeah, there's 5,000 pounds worth of wood. Yeah. You know, before you've done anything train related. Yeah, before you put a nail in. Mm. You know, so, you know, when you see these layers, um, which is why, you know, you're always restricted. Um, and it's quite interesting, I watched, I looked at the web, some of the comments from other clubs saying, can we get, you know, um, can we get sponsorship? I don't quite work out that, you know, they've yeah. got 10,000 visitors, we've got 45,000. You yes. know, it's a, it's a whole different ballpark. Yes. But I also can say, to, you know, don't go down this route. Mm -hmm. This is built for a special, special purpose, which is, you know, not a model railway exhibition. It's for a, you know, a, a big event and a different audience from, from what... I mean, this is... If you had a club room this big, right, that you could take this layout in, I don't think you'd work on it. Mm. I think you'd be enjoy Late. building it, but then you'd get bored. Mm. I mean, Manchester have got some fantastic layouts. They just don't play with them. Right. So, you know, the, unless you're going to do like this is meant to be played with. You're better off building a nice little layout that you can, can have fun with. It's like Lemons and Spa. In hindsight, I should have just bought, built Hatton Bank because that's what everybody wants to take pictures of. Right. But it would have taken about six months. This is a working layout though, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the, the payback though, I suppose, isn't it? Is seeing children walking around with tablets actually driving trains on it. I mean, <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? There's so many firsts here. So many things that yeah, but that's, nobody else does. You know, but Dave, that's what we want to do. I mean, that's, you know, we're, we're all getting past, you know, we're all getting to the point where you won't be able to go to these shows because we won't be fit enough or we won't be, you know, mobile enough. 
but you want you want to give the kids or the next generation of enthusiasts the same enthusiasm that you had when you were their age and you can't talk about it you've got to do it mm. you've listen you've literally got to give them the the tablet and say that, you know you can this is yours go and play with it you know you know put your engine on and off you go um it's a little bit more complicated to work this year than than it's been but well, we've got the fun of the bi-directional track haven't we yeah um but we're working on that and for milton Keynes, of course we've worked out we've got to have walkie talkies because you can't shout 150 feet can you <laughs> how are you going to shout at me for going too fast yeah, yeah. well no we're going to put a secret okay. gadget underneath to slow yeah. you down yeah. you know i wrote the software <laughs> yeah no no I'll, we'll rewrite it while you're not looking it'll have to be analog yeah there you go brilliant been busy in your workshop phil yeah more bits and pieces what do we have here more oh, fancy it's all yours oh thank you this is tonight's job oh, yeah. project x not my problem anymore so phil i see you brought a little uh, a lid of lots of very small things in more adverts more adverts cobblestones as well for the front of the car park Let's just get a scan Yes, because I see the red brick road, but it's not brick, it's cobble, isn't it? No, it's Toblerone. Oh, is it? Not it's, Tob. It's, um... Ter Her Her Herobone. It's Herobone. And Herobone, it's, that's uh, the one. Brindle Bricks. It's easy to say, Toblerone. Brindle Bricks? Yeah. Is that brindle, a... like that side, that's they're exactly that. Oh. That's exactly what they are. Okay, let's have a look at that. We've oh, got right. a super glue down here, Paul. So these are not... Good yeah, well, you come up this this wall. This is too tall, by the way. It's never happy, is he? That goes there, and that one goes there. That's what I want. Okay, we'll do around in that case. Also, what's that, Phil? This is a, a the footbridge that crosses the uh, platforms. Oh, okay. So this comes in here. Like that. This is really the last There's building to go here. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can move on to uh, something different. Signals and control panel next. Right. So these look, which are clever, Phil's done. They might be too long. So I, I didn't. Yeah. These go like this. Oh. Is there two long ones? No, one long one in the middle, and then two flat ones either side. What you might need to do, Pete, is cut them in half, cut a notch out, and do them either side of the pillar. There's something wrong here. Let's only get this glued in and I'll see what's the matter. Just don't want to glue this today's base his legs, otherwise he'll shout at me. You see more trees today, we've got to make more trees today. Okay. Well they do make a massive difference, don't they? Yes, sir. Especially the the foliage round here. It looks so natural. Right, what's wrong now, Dave, uh, Pete? I can't quite work out. Hang on. It's all right. How this goes, like, like that. I think so, but it does look wrong, that does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, Why does it look wrong? Yeah, you'd be driving into the middle of the post. Yeah, I've probably done it wrong. No, you haven't. Makes a change, doesn't it? No, no, that's right. So it does go. They go closer to, yeah, yeah. and then there's a Outside fence. Outside the pillar. Yeah. That that pillar. It's got like a fence up to it. It's all up. Uh, so there's a, there's one in the middle. Oh, uh, right there. Yeah, and them two go on the pillar. Show that again. See there's two pillars where the door yeah. the gates are. They That's where down. the two fat ones go. Hang on, hang on. Ah, side you've just got, is it? Yeah. Oh two green blocks. Yeah. And then there's just like a the footpathy bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's there. That's it. That's there. That's there. That's it. They're the sort of things you just capture cur you you curve your wheels on. Yeah. This goes in the middle there, yeah. That's it. And then you know you said you were gonna do those 
circle bits that we haven't done yet. Yeah. They go up either side. Either side. Yeah. yeah. Can we just borrow a standing knife at the, just behind your pool? No, they're not like that. Well, they are and they aren't. But they're showing you, we need mat. Well, I haven't got any mat. Alright, oh, well, we'll need to get you some mat. Well, haven't you got that, that, that stuff that does it down? Yeah. I've seen it somewhere in that rattle tin. Yeah, I've got it. Look at that, what a large. This is now where I stick it to those uh, legs and it comes in. <laughs> Listen. We've taken the piss out of Dave all morning without him knowing. No. I like Dave, stop knocking him. He'll know about it when he sees the video. He'll know see the video. Dave's great. Dave's wonderful. He's, he's very unique. That's the word. That's a good way of describing him. Very what? No, he's very unique. Something yeah. either is or isn't unique, so it can't be very unique, but Dave is. He's very, very unique then, can yeah. he? Tastes great, I like Dave. Yeah. Film? When we bring it in, I want you to be dead. So you want over two people, really? Well, hang on, I'm going to have to mic you up, Dave. We're going to need to no, hear. No, no. <laughs> We're going to need you to tell us all about it as well. I'll give you my mic. Yeah, what do you want, Phil? Have you been busy again? We've been busy again this week, Dave. Um, where are you seeing? Yeah, oh, come can't, on, can't. The only trouble is, Dave, I don't think you're going to fit in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's not a Dalek, is it? No. It's got a Dalek in lounge, hasn't it? it? doors. Can't undo that one, so it'll be a bit awkward. Are we right? Yeah. I'll get the front. What is it, a coffin? Oh, it's, a, it's your uh, gig box. Yeah. Oh, what? Have you uh, got the name of the band on the side? No, what we're going to do, we're going to go in like this. Right? Coffin bearers. Du, 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 du. <laughs> this is only for one building. That's on the way out, Pete. <laughs> no, no, it's the way in. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I think someone's having too much fun here. Yeah, I think we are. That's... You know what your next sideline business is, don't we? <laughs> Coffins. Yeah. Uh, put it down here for no, I'll put it on them table there, on the, on, in them legs. We're getting reverse now, I'll take it down. Should fit. Oh, it might not. What will that drive? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. That's only for the station. So this will take just a second. How many of these will you be making? I've got another three to do, but okay. they're all smaller than this. I think these... So we're about that big, and one about that big. Well, should we go and have a cup of tea and then you can tell us all about it? Well, there's not a lot to tell, really. I don't know. I could set the top off and show you what's inside. Well, go on, then. <laughs> yeah, we need to see. We need to see an empty space. Well, there's not. There's all blocks in it, ready for the station. Give me that 300, please. That's good. Careful where you're putting that stuff, Dave. That's it. Oh. We're working here. Working on a bridge? Yep. Stairways so um You forget everything, it's, it's not like a bridge over a piece of track, it's over a lot of track. Is it? What's that, a metre across nearly? Uh, it's 800 oh, and something mil. Eight, eight, seven, I think it's about. Right. Yeah. The bridge too far. Yeah. Yeah, that, that um, yeah, cool. fencing. You're very clever there, Phil. I like the way you've done that, mate. Oh dear. Do it fit in a slot in the in the side or is he just putting it anywhere? No, that it does no, it's it. where it goes because it this runs on the flat. One and a half, please. Have you got milk? Yeah. Oh, I hope so. What do you mean that we got milk? I bought it right. Thursday. It Take on off in that time. There's it? always milk. <laughs> What's going in here? Pete's gonna fill it full of sand when he's finished. Fill what? The road. Because oh. that's what it's made for. Uh -huh. But we get to move this on. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. Uh -huh. It's got two ends. So it goes up. Uh, hang on. Long side this way. Yes. Right, now then. If I break these I'll out. Drive down this morning. Absolutely no problem at all. Road's quiet. Roads yeah. are dead this morning. Yeah, yeah it's pretty quiet. Yeah. During uh, an event. Oh, yeah. Town was dead. It was brilliant. Where's that? 
in Chester. Yeah, always in Chester. Yes, it's dead. Yeah, it's lovely. We were in the new market having lunch. <laughs> there was nobody there at all. No, oh, what's your coronation? Thanks, Robin. Tell me. In the market where the food hall is, they had a big screen up showing showing the, the event. Yeah. So I didn't quite get away from it. I'll tell you how to get all those soldiers marching like they do. Bang on. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Well, that's what we do better than anybody in the world, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know the Japanese do marching very well. Yeah, but they march in and they murder you at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> marching and killing with a hun. Yeah. Right, so there, there's all these bits, Phil. Super duper. Yeah. That, that's it. I've got nothing in there, that. Uh, that's right. Right. You've got a biscuit, Dave? Yeah. Just keep that bit of wood. Right. Have you got Chris's? Yeah. Get a yeah. few, because yeah. yeah. Pete will have them eat them all. He'll have, these will be gone by, you know. Yeah, Pete. That's your breakfast. Thank you, man. <laughs> Talk about in the pink, uh, please, uh, Rob. No rubbish. Yeah, just in a bit, mate, please. Passing. So the roof's fixed. Chair. Matt's still all right. Yeah, okay. We've got to do is the electrics now. He's here on Wednesday. What, the lecky? The lecky. The lecky's here always. Yeah. We'll be back to having some lights. Have to bring me sunglasses in. <laughs> yeah. So who's coming today? I think, I've asked... Um, I think Adam's coming again. Oh, right. No, that's wrong. So where's this for, Phil? This is the uh, footbridge. That, uh, it's not really a bridge, it just crosses the railway. Right. South side. You'd better do that for him. I've been trying to finish it. It looks wide. Right. Is, it, is it on the station here? Yeah. 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 Of course right. it's the station. So you know where the, um, in between the buildings where the, um, yeah. where the, the bike racks are. The bike racks are. Mm -hmm. when, you, when, when do you start taking them buildings off? <laughs> start taking them off and create them up, can't we? No. Right. Well, once I've got the road, then you can. It's charming them boxes, you know. No, no, we've got photos. You can't just box them You've got them Pico off. coming. I know, but I mean, I put all the blocks in so they don't move in transit. But I need to make sure that the blocks are all in the right place. Well, we can do that. There's no Kevin, in, it's his out. anniversary holiday now. Well, right. I've, got, I've got to another mate coming that's, you, you know, from the shop. Who? John, you, you see him in the cathedral, he comes, he, he, he works with Jaguar, he's going to join us. Do him up. Mosley. Well, we're short of bodies. Right. I said it's nearly finished, didn't you? I've got a hundred and... I've got 52 seats to put in. Uh, that won't take long. You can do one a minute. Dave. Take you an hour. Dave, Phil and I tried to put just the, the signs up on the station. It took us an hour and a half on one side and the four sides. What's the hold? The six. Six sides. I sat down to make the fencing for the, 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 the platforms four hours. And I've still got to build another four hours worth. It's all the little tedious jobs now that we need doing. That it, oh, the grass man's here. Eh? Hey? The grass man's here. Yeah, well. He's got the biggest job of all of us at the minute. Because he's still got two boards and bits and pieces and I've got to build another dozen trees. Better have a bit of time off wood, Paul. Are you flocking? Hmm? Are you flocking? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one word. Have you got any of the uh, blogging block right here? No. Right. I'll get some film that. I'll get some film that. Flocking left and flocking right. If you stand it up, it's just drip, dripping it down. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't got any glue, so I can't. Well, me and Robin ain't got... Weeks and weeks oh, of work to do now, haven't we? We're nearly there, aren't we, Rob? Yeah. Don't ever say that, guys. We're not getting any other jobs, Pete. That's it. When, oh, no, mate. When John is finished, that's it. No, no, no there's no demarcation there, pal. Oh, let's see. On that big patch that went out yesterday, mm. I left it for two days with no changes, just to think. These are nice. What, uh, Dave? Right then. Mm. Yeah, from little, are they? Get some more. And I went back just to have a one last look. I mm -hmm. I put you up. And I Ginger nuts. dragged the no. screwdriver out. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. One of the best today. 
The servos <laughs> wouldn't switch off. Mm -hmm. They were buzzing on the top. <laughs> no one would have brought it in. What you say about it? They'd gone by lunchtime, but they'd gone by the time. I can't believe that. So I went back a version and they were still buzzing. And I was like, I was completely confused. And after about an hour and a half, I realised I'd dragged the servo driver. She said she was going to digital servos on I'm sorry, yeah, but so I was looking for a problem that didn't exist. Because one of them has digital, one of them <sighs> has analog. <sighs> Drive me nuts. The way I see the global update working, right? Mm -hmm. Did you see I I've put the, it, um, up the counter for each row? So, for instance, I, te I tell you, you know, now deduplicate little jobs. Well, so you won't get the it's same. So little twice. jobs that take all the time. Yeah. Uh, which is only so yesterday. I came thing. in, not in the station sign You know, with the legs. Decides he mm. doesn't like it. So it Pete was doing. I know he's not coming today. It'll go. So I thought, 20 boards. one of the jobs I was doing yesterday was just so know finish off the boards. When, when you hit the global when you update, <laughs> shop on this morning, every well, board is in the global update. Get some board, get on the so three or four so packets, like paint and chocolate in, and chip goes in. It awful. brings a list of boards. Took me an hour for, just to paint his white legs. Well, to give them it's one just, you know, it's just, it just, it just, it just, you think you just sit down, little jobs, you just have to paint the what? Just, even a board, it takes doesn't need hours. an update, mm -hmm. what happens And then you've got to do all the green legs. No update available, and it will just restart the board. Well, I agree, aren't you? And the reason right. it reboots yeah, well, the board is it wants the announcement. I've got to have a jig. What do you want? You push it on, and then you just spray the bottom of the leg. Because there's no other way of doing it. five will immediately come back and go. Get four, get four packets. Not just that, you can't get the British race in green. status of how many. In a tin. <laughs> that's got any pin right. um, so you, you've got to use the, the, the British race right, green yeah. spray because the difference improved. between the spray and the actual pot is unbelievable and I mean, you put the, the green on, on from the pot the and it just disappears it's a massive part of that patch, it, that patch you know you can see straight through it work. That's good. Yeah. So, the problem is you're going to have to patch them again to get the global I know, patch. I know. Well, but in that case, I'm not going to patch off them. Well, I'm not going to patch any of them. But I went to must be using wood. Virtual port, B port, to be lower than 1,024. Why don't you turn it? It's 1,000. 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 We just had a we had a we had a real rollicking about driving to the back of the museum to park to get all the television equipment in, right? So How the police that? comes yeah, at Liverpool on on Friday. Oh, I right. mean, the police in <coughs> Liverpool it's horrendous. So we're we just stretched in a barrier right round the back of the museum and thank you, police went mad, went nuts, right? So anyway, we do the filming. Cars the car's gone off to, to park. So it's got to come back and pick us up. So da so Joe gets in, you know, he's at the front and he, he starts fiddling in this box. And I said, Joe, what are you doing? Getting his drone out. I'm getting my drone out. I went, oh, you are that, joking. I said, ah! that's exactly what you want to do, Joe. Yeah. I said, I need to spend 10 days in prison because I've been trying to wreck the Eurovision Song yeah. competition. No, they've, they've been introduced a temporary drone ban yeah. or order in the area of that well, for the duration of the That's day. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like it was. It was yeah. You didn't you have to be a genius to see that. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't need to be a genius to see that, did you? Well, yeah. I you see all the police yeah. and you see all the security, you go, they're not going to allow drones. No way. So you can't I mean, spot where the snipers are, which is easy to fucking see anyway. Yeah. I mean, they don't make the law, they have to enforce it, but you've got, the order's got to be in, the ban has to be in place first. <laughs> I've got some great editing software. I just don't use it. it though. <laughs> no, oh, absolutely. <laughs> you say it, it's the headline. <laughs> the, um, what I'm going to see is the taps that go over the... Blue ground, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there. What's traffic coming over? Well, what we'll do is we'll glue all this no, up. I'm going to prime this. Because mm -hmm. I haven't got the I've ordered the concrete. No, no, really. Really. This is concrete. Yeah. 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 Not really. Oh dear. Right, come on then. Bloody old Pete. No, we're, we've got a lot to do today, Dave. Oh. Uh. You'll have to work longer hours. Well, I worked from yeah, five to seven o'clock yesterday morning. I was yeah. in here. Yeah. I didn't finish in here till five past five. I didn't sit in here, you know, all the time. I kept doing jobs for about an hour and a half, two hours, then going and having a break. Yeah. But there's so <coughs> many little jobs, just stupid little jobs. There's no big, just give the big jobs have gone, you know. 
in, in for the scenic side. But you know, uh, there's it's like we well, could do them scenic bits on separate boards. It could be separated. You would want to separate them for because I've not got to do all the end boards yet. I've got to fit them all. Yeah, but I don't want to be doing it the last when vans are outside. Put it that way. You've got to think when you can do all your photographs. Yeah, you've got to do the photographs first. Oh, we've got. A, How many more photographs do you want? Thousands, Dave. They're it's paying not, us. It's not finished, is it yet? Yeah. Never have enough. Don't forget, it's, it's got to go in the magazine, so that needs to be, what, 15th to 20th of June. We'll be when Mike wants to take his Sleep final photos. Oh, shit. Cheshire Life on, is on the 15th. Yeah, that's a Monday. Yeah. What time? <coughs> I've got 12 o'clock. Okay, okay. It's next Monday. Yeah. But so for me, for about hey, half hey. 11. 11 o'clock is somewhere, aren't there? Yeah. Right. So, I take it this one. This yeah, stuff lit and trains moving if need be. Oh, there you go. Seventh of June. What's on that? That's Pico. Oh, I got a hospital appointment that day, so I can't do that one. So this isn't just an empty box, then, Dave? No, no. It's, it's, well, it's got blocks in the bottom for the uh, station. You got all these screws, Rob. That short one goes on that corner. There's a reason for that. A bit of screw coming the other way when you're on the screen. These are the same length. Yeah, that, that, that one. Oh, well, there's one a shorter one. Yeah. Well, so far, okay, now come on, can't see that bastard. Right. Hang on. I've just got to mark this corner because it's uh, so it goes back on the same spot. Yeah. That'll do. That's it. Is the lid numbered to match the crate as well? Well, there's all, they're all different sizes. The crate. Oh, okay. Well, these have got the blocks in here for right. to locate the station building. So it don't slide about. There's, okay. a lot, you know, there's not a lot of clearance, so not 20 mil. So not been tested yet, or has it? No, I could do with putting a station building in and really, to see if it fits, but you don't, you don't want to do it. So, well, that's it. Very good. And you've got how many of these to make? Another three. But these, the short ones, the others. But there's two about this long, mm. and there's another one about that long, but a bit, quite a bit narrower. Right. Um, one's for the ice rink. Um, one for the car park. Right. Very um, good. There's two two buildings going in some, but this is only taking the station. The main the main station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can so. see why you're keen, keen to get it tested. So yeah. you can just sign it off. Well if I've got to, I don't want to have to start, you know, when these slots are in make sure these blocks are glued in the right place because you can't. Right. Yeah. Hang on. Let's really add so what else are you up to today, Dave? You see the fiddle yard boards here? Yep. Putting the faces on here. Okay. Sit, see. Just pull that one out, Rob. It's still. Mm. Yeah. That's a good fit. Yeah, well, they've got to be, haven't they? Uh, back and front. It's just if out comes off in fill yard, it don't go onto the floor, hopefully. Okay. So, they're all, you know. So, we've done three. I think I'm used to do here. We've got another eight, and they're all here. All, all ends are cut. They're all, you know, all ready to go. Yeah, they're all ready to go here. Oh, will you uh, nail them on? Yeah, uh, well, get me nail gun out after we glue, we glue them on and nail them. So, you know. How's the bridge looking, Phil? That's the wrong glue. Okay. It's getting there. Slowly, slowly. This is where I glue it to the platforms. Will you glue it to the platforms? Eventually, but right. Not I, mean, yet. I mean by accident. <laughs> Oh, 
I might just put a couple of these. So when you come down, you come in. Well, I might just put a couple of bits of... Well, I love it. Don't have the need. That's fine. Be careful. That's a bloody fortune, ladies. Shocking cost of fortune. That flock. Got some catenary. Red cables. Just look at that. I had a pretty tester when I put the thing down. I don't want it. Yeah. Holy shit. Shit. Holy Jamoli. Holy Jamoli. Someone killed the cows. Hey? No, I don't think that's the best place to do it. Obviously, you can talk to yourself, but you know the answer before you talk about it. Talk to yourself, you've got a chance of winning the arm. Big long screen. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I've got the money. Let's, let's get prepared here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I need power. I can pinch the power, can't I, Phil? Yeah, what do you want? I need, I need power for the glue gun. I'm going to get you rolling quick. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Is that a medium sign, Phil? Yeah. It, um, Get a bit longer to place things. Yeah, I like the thin stuff, but having a mixture of both helps. Who uses the thin? I use the mix. The, the new one. All got our own favourite song, we thought. Yeah, it's, this just takes too long to set. I like that bit longer. Got a screw, didn't it? Did I put glue on there? I did, didn't it? I'll open the new box as well. You're making it look easy, Phil. Well, it's not. It's not like a complicated structure, is it? There's a fair bit of detail building up already. Yeah. You sit somewhere. There, give or take a bit. Okay. The hot. Let's have a look from back here. Yeah, the hot. You see it, Darren? Aaron. Part of the brackets. Not blue. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. What for? To try the building. Um, um, I don't need, I need to get in there for a minute. Just finish the road off. I can, you can try that out. Can you try it? It's finished with it, Danny. It's something it should fit. Yeah. Can I say which way round does it go? That's the bottom. Of the station? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit on the floor. This is to this, this is so, coming this so you've taken the wrong side off then I think. Because the you can put your hands under that one easier, I think. Yeah. So I'll turn it around. Yeah. Just 
Can I pinch your accelerator? Sorry. Hang on, Dave, give me a minute. <laughs> Not realistic then, is it? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Dave, yeah. if you get a scalpel, you can pick the individual bricks out if you want oh, a pole. That's it, is it? Give or take. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. Is it that angle as well? It's on the skew, it goes that way and upwards. Oh, so what are you going to do? Oh, so it's only got a slope on it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. What happens at the other end? Uh, you cut that bit out so you can walk through. That I climb over. <laughs> I left that bit in because I hadn't drawn this when that was drawn. Right, right. So um, you might do that with that too. You might be a bit rough. Might be better with just a little hand saw. Very, very razor very, saw. Yeah, very slowly. Probably better cut the bottom with razor saw. But you no, but you can do the bottom bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Get in there, slowly, slowly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, it'd be a shame to scrap this, wouldn't it? We haven't scrapped any of them, have we? Oh, which is a lot of work in this, a lot of work. No, cruises are awful. <laughs> it's 
to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Printer's busy at the minute, so. Printer's making money, so this has to wait. Yes. Sometimes people forget that. But it's like just doing them roads. It's like 10 hours of cutting that I'm yeah. not making stuff. Do you leave it overnight and go? Yeah, yeah, that stuff I do. So while I'm here today, it's now making walls right. for Hornby. It takes six hours just to do a sheet of wall, right. walls. Nice and tedious. Yeah. I suppose with a 3D printer, you're used to waiting a long time because they are. Yeah, they are slower, but they're more. You don't need as many materials with a 3D printer. Right. You just need a bottle of resin, and away you go. Whereas laser, you need. Yeah. Someone's got to clean it. That's the problem. It's, it's all the um, wood working and then, you know, particularly when Dave's been working on something, it gets dust everywhere and bits everywhere. So, right. before we start doing the static grass, we have to clean it all off. So, you're doing static grass on top of this static grass? Well, we do, yeah, basically, it's, it's how you build it up on and turn the hoover off. Turn the hoover off, yeah. Basically, we do static grass, it's layers. Yeah. So you start off with a very, so we start off with a four mil layer, then we add a six mil, and we go for a twelve mil on top. It just builds it up into layers. And this is on top of the teddy bear fur. Yes, funny enough. Right. We can see it here. This is on the teddy bear fur. Right. That's why it's all uneven, a bit wobbly. Right. And that's directly on the baseboard. That's why it's flat. Right. Yes, that's what we do. Very good. And that's what we're preparing to do later on, shortly, hopefully. Also here we've got to tie in the two sections in here. Right, so it's quite a contrast at the moment. Yeah, isn't yeah. yeah. It? Obviously this is the one with teddy bear fur on. Right. And that's the one we've done static grass on. Okay. So the idea is then to do this this little part here, get that tied in. Hide all the glue marks on the bottom of all the legs. Yeah. Yeah. And then try and work on the pond, the pool, the muddy the mud. There's a little pond, is it? Yeah. That's a permanent feature of the real thing, is it? Pass. It's there, for, it's there for a reason, isn't it? It's there for a reason. Oh, we've got the boxes on. And obviously, it's, obviously you've got to hide all the bases on the here. And that's mm. got to be hidden now. And just very, 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 very slowly work and hide it all up. But then it all starts. So you can put these in place. So these are the parts of the adjuster system. Right. So that's six mil U channel from B and Q. And in turn, in part of that is cut off four mil tube. Right. So it's been pressed in because I've closed it to get a bit of mechanical grip and I'm going to solder them okay. into place, then run them through a pillar drill to put the holes in. And, and where will that go? And that will eventually just be bonded onto the... And that will allow you to tension the line? Yeah, because the wires will come right through the middle of that and out the side and I'll be able to pull on it. Okay. So I'm just going to solder that up with lots of heat unfortunately. So I have to use a gas jet. Needs a lot of heat, does it? Yeah, to get it to take. So I'm just about to do that over here. There's the other one ready. Does lean a lot of heat to get it to go. That gets hot, those particular ones, don't they? Yep. Yeah. It's only an 80 watt, mm. but I use it on a blue flame. Right. So just let me get a uh, little stick for uh, sticking some. Looks in. Yeah, it's quite a thick channel, so it, it doesn't need a lot of heat.
So even that much heat struggling to get the solder in. Right. There you go, it's starting to go now. That's one dump. Side dump. And that'll probably still be too hot to show you. So now I just solder those tubes in. Very nice. Not going anywhere. So no, they're going to now be drilled. Yeah. And then tapped. Right. To match the other part of the uh, the other half, which is these. It was like an M3 or something. It's a 3.5. So it's a. Okay. So that'll Unless be, you adjust a screw. That'll be a screwed in, yeah, and the piston will be on the back with the spring. Brilliant. And everything will go right through, and you'll show that. Once I finish drilling and tapping, they'll be getting fitted and then be marked out. Here's the principle, because I've already got it there. There's a single one. Piston's on the spring. Through the back of adjustable screw. There's your tension. And the wire then will be fed right through the middle. Comes out, it's folded over. Yeah. So as that pulls, as I unscrew it, it automatically pulls against that. And adjust the tension. And just the tension, just pulls it. Yeah. Very clever. No, it's just a bit first and struck with a hole down the middle. Because that's all it is, like your suspension on your car. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. There you go. It's just having the equipment to machine them. Yes. That's the key. Right, I have brought my drill bit and bits and pieces. Whoa, 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 You see, you've got to go down square because it's not a square building. That'd be too tight. Yeah. It's too tight. You're ripping the end off here. You're fucking shouting, Pete. Oh, it's too tight. That's not that fucking wrong. Fucking measurements you give me. Hey, I met, didn't measure it. You're too tight. Look, you're lifting the ends here. Yeah, it is go that way. Mm. Well, there's plenty of room in this, sir. No, there's not. No, that's not a panic. You've got an eight for an inch, that's all, which is enough. No, you haven't, you see. You've me on this, is your problem. This building's not square, it's on a triangle. So you've got the bottom there, look, it's right against your wood. No, it's not. It's a triangle. And that's your problem. It's not, a tri it's not square. That mesh is quite fine in the little thing. Yeah. You've got a problem here because you, you're right against here and you're right against the bottom there because it's a triangle. I've got eight to an inch here. 
You ain't. You've got nothing. That at the bottom there, she's right against it. Because they should be careful as well. Yeah. Right. Well, so the easiest way to do it, Dave. Well, let's just have a spin on Dave. No. 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 No.
piece of just normal masking tape. Right. Uh, and then it's just got a uh, glue and glaze. And that's your diffuser? Front. Yeah. Are we going to see them lit up today or um, is that a step too far for now? Uh, yeah, I've got the Arduino upstairs, so uh, yeah, we can we can do that later. Get them lit up, doing uh, sequence red, red, yellow, double yellow, and green. Yeah, you've got some room to work now, Pete. Now the building's gone. Yeah, it helps. To be honest, Dave. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I mean, this is just, you know, it's like we talked earlier that, you know, there are jobs that you rarely never notice on the layout, but like this, they take a long time to, you know, put car parking spaces all in here. And then, of course, you've got to build all the trees down and then you've got to put the fences in and you've got to flock it. It's, it doesn't look much, but... Yeah. Quality work though, isn't it? Well, this is... Inside. It's still take me three hours. Mm. So today, all I will achieve today is literally probably just get this car park looking like a car park. So, you know, but, you know, it's all, it's all one step at a time, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm dealing with hairballs. Hairballs. Because they're using static and they turn into like little balls. So, oh, you have to stand here and pull them apart. Oh, they look great. Well done, Andy. You need a carder, something carding like they do with wool. Oh, yeah. Oh, one of Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all tapped now. Job done? Oh yeah. That's what that's for. You get in there. Yeah, nice neat thread. You can use that, yeah, that'll match it. Yeah. Will that not affect Oh yeah. Lovely. It looks like it's a solid piece, it's not. No. Well no, because you've soldered the tube. And any any gaps are soldered will fold into it. Down here, it hasn't it looks so much better the road. The road markings. And if I can Lollipop trees. Mmm. Curve. Corners. Not your work. Go on. For me, that end. With eager anticipation, Dave mm. waits for the arrival of the station building. <laughs> will it fit? It'll fit. More will be answered later in the video. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh, that's off the go. Yeah, uh, wrong way around. No. Sure. Right. Sure. Bill. Don't do that. Bill. Yep, down you go. Lower. Lower. Right, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. There you go. Bang on. You know it's got to go see you now. There you go. This block needs moving, Dave. One of them. This oh, that's one, perfect. It's not. That's it, huh? It's right. Super duper. Lock in, Bruno. Leave that there for me. Can you repeat that? Lock Seeing as you slagged me off a minute ago. I just pointed out it's backwards, that's all. I'm only, you know, being observant. It seems like Dave responded to constructive criticism before. Yeah, Dave always responds well to constructive criticism. And right, it's fixed. Though. It's fixed now. That's not going to go it anywhere. It looks like it was designed to fit. Yeah. What work for carry a building, isn't it? You pleased with that, Dave? Yeah, be all right. Clearance is uh, nice and tight, no slop. Yeah, sort it out, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's that's good. what you need. You can't have any movement. It's good. All right, come on. Go on, Dave, that way. Are you leaving it in there? 10 mil. Okay. When the side's on, yeah, I'll hold it. Be close. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's just put one side. Let's put a side on. Which runs up? See. Just do it to there. Yeah, because we're turning around now. So. 
Well, I've only turned the end. Is that the only one that's right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not right. Yeah, left and right, the three. Yeah, eat it. Oh, look at that. Ten mil, that's all we want. Perfect. Ten. We don't want a lot of slop, so it can't bounce too so high, can it? Let me see the smile of relief. <laughs> That'd be alright, that. Fab. Well done. So that's it. Stick them on that table if you want. That's no, okay. I think they look great. The cages really make it, don't they? They look superb. Yeah, well, I think Chris has done a good job getting the exits as far as it can go, really. It's a little bit overscale, but. Right. I think. For the amount of detail you're getting, it's, it's sort of a lot better than what you can get off the shelf. Yes. Yeah. I think there's 16 in total. Right. So uh, I think there's a mixture of those standard ones with just the, the four aspects. Or yep. You've got, uh, I think there's one Y, it doesn't need to be a Y, but there's a, a Y with the feather both sides and then a mixture of left and right feathers. So. Uh, uh, it should look something special once, once it's all up and running. Yes. And um, sort of automatic with the trains. So it, it's a lot of the little details are now coming on the layout. So yeah, it's brilliant. A lot of work, but it's well worth it. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of work. The, the size of the LEDs trying to get them soldered on. <laughs> yes. A, a few uh, swear, swear words uh, <laughs> when you get it perfect and then dab it with a soldering iron and yeah, so we're now doing our static grassing. At the minute I'm just doing a 6 mil over this grass we've got here just to build it up. Right. I've just done a little piece here just to start hiding the base of the legs. And, but they've had to move some mass around as well. So like for example here, you've got holes in the baseboard and here. Here so I'm just hiding it all up now with a bit of static grass. And the gaps. And the gaps as well, yeah. You can see him. You can go do a bit of work and just hiding that up there. Right. But it's all very, it's the fiddly work now. So then, we use a bit of spray mount just to add the glue down. We do these here. And it's just a simple case. We get the applicator to turn it on and give it a shake. Hopefully. See, it's started to take you nicely there. Right. And that's yeah, how we get all the different shades because we use different colours. Right. So in this so in this one I've got about five or six different types of grass, different coloured grasses. No, no. I say get all the different shades. And yeah, right. and it comes out well. How will you fill that gap? Will you get some specifically in there or because there's quite a big well, like this one here? Yeah. No, I'll use some um, we've got some other stuff to do that with. Oh, things like this product here. It's just, it's just a foliage product. Oh, okay. Use stuff like that, or there's... So dense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it makes like, it just makes it like some dense bushes around it. That's how you hide that. Because right. static grass will never fill that. It's just too fine. And then will you put static grass on top? No. No, okay. That'd be left like that. It'd be like the other side there. We've got right. some of the posts. We'll have grass around it. Some will have mm. a bit more denser foliage around it. Yeah. And that's how we'll do it. We'll just slowly build it up and... Brilliant. I'll yeah. work my way through and you'll be textured. Next time I come, it'll all be done. Fingers crossed that. Like. I'm not heating this, I'm going to have to get the gas jet. Okay. Even with 100 watt, it's not even touching it. So I'm back in a minute. It's sinking it faster than you're putting it in. Yeah, even at 100 watts. <laughs> That's how quick it'll go. Black.
and that's bent up to accept the pantograph from a non-overhead section, is it? Yeah. Right. And that's what that'll do. Still red out of that. Mm. It's melting the uh, thing we've run get on it. It's the experience that tells me where I need to put it with having made these so many times. <laughs> That cools. This looks solid. Brilliant. I'll smooth them off, re, re thread just in case there's uh, any solders run, but I'll check mm. in a minute. But I don't think you, it doesn't usually, so. Yeah, I see it's still too hot. I should have stopped by now. So today we're on site in Phil's workshop. Phil makes all the uh, buildings and he made the station as well as kits. Is this a Hornby kit, Phil? No, that's for somebody down south. It's a okay. West Marina steam shed. Right. But I've been struggling with the roof. How long have you been working on this? Since uh, September last year. Oh, right. It's not. When I started it, he said there wasn't a rush, but there is a rush now. I'm delayed with it. Now you've uh, been at it for a while. Yeah, so I'm halfway through the instructions. I'll get them done tomorrow and hopefully get it sent. Is it a bespoke item, a yeah. one-off? Yeah. So this is the full length. Then right. all the roofs. This roof will be in three sections, then it'll just, it should just lift off right. for him so he can get in. But um, the problem I've been having is the roof is too... It's too fragile before it's made. Right. So I can assemble it, but somebody else, they'll break it. Okay. I suppose being a one-off, you spend so much time doing design for one. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's these little vents that have been the problem and catching these little um, out, outboard joists that hold the, it's like another oh, bit yeah. of roof that sits on top. Yeah. And making them strong enough so they don't break them, but thin enough so they don't look over the top. The detail's all there though, isn't it? Yeah, and see the windows aren't in because I, I don't need to put the windows in because I know they're okay. Yeah. So just save cutting. Right. But, um, yeah, it's getting there. It's just, like I say, when I started it, he said there was no rush. And when people say that... You, you forget get, about it then? I don't get forget, but it gets put on the back burner and then... And then everything else that happened delayed it. And, but, uh, it's oh. getting there. Are these kits I spy? Yes, so these are for next month's Homey magazine. Oh, okay. They are a um, little signal box. Oh, nice. I have got the... 
I have the, the original test sample, but I dropped it. So, <laughs> so now it lives on the shelf of rejects. Oh, okay. So it damaged the, um, the valance around the top. Right. But, uh, but I, I only ever make one just to make sure it goes together. Yes. I don't really care if it's a good model or not, as long as it assembles. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, um, yeah, that's... They're down to go to, to Holy Mag on Friday. Right. And this is the birdcage bridge from last year, this one. Okay. How Was that through Hornby magazine? So it, it wasn't, but it is now. Okay. We've just put another one, another order in this morning. Are these, more. these selling well? They're not as selling as well as the depots, but they're a bit more um, bespoke and how they fit. Right. You know, you need a certain span gap for a bridge rather yeah. than a depot that you can right. get fit. But yeah, they're, they're going better than I could hope for. Brilliant. And I've this looks interesting. What are we looking at here? So this was a test of Blackpool Tower. So this would be in about two or three months before COVID kicked off in 2019. Right. We started it. Then COVID happened. We weren't going to show what's happening with money and shows and everything else. So it got delayed. Right. And then we never finished it. So are you going to get back on it when time Possibly. allows? Possibly. See, the main reason they're either going to run 91s or 92s into Blackpool. Right. So his whole layout, because he likes night, wherever they are, I get confused which ones or which. And then, the, again, COVID, they pulled that plug, so he's kind of lost heart. Right. But if this was on the floor, this sits about here somewhere. Okay. It's about six and a half feet tall right. in double L. Would it be a rinse and repeat of that section, although I suppose it no, would be different? This, would, this is the easiest of the lot, because okay. all the others splayed out. Right. You know, it, it comes out like a yeah. pyramid. Yeah. But well, this one's perfectly straight. So how do you design this? What do you use? I, it's a mixture of coral draw, sketch up, solid works, um, depending on what you want. Right. So yeah. for, uh, using that tower as an example then, tell us, tell us what you did on that. So with Blackpool Tower, it's quite, it's relatively easy because you can get all the plans on the internet. Okay. So I loaded those into coral draw. Yeah. And then using coral draw, you can very quickly get all the dimensions off because you can scale it easily yeah. and then um, from there I uh, export it as a DWG into yep. SolidWorks right. and go from there. So you go from a 2D drawing to a 3D model? On this one, yes. Yeah. I generally use coral draw to get the ratio dimensions. Right, not so the, the overall Not scale. the overall size of it, but the, the size of the windows in relation to it. Right, okay. Um, and then once you know the size of the building, then you've got the ratio of the window sizes. So using what, a kit as an example? Yes. That one? Yeah. This kit here, the, the signal box? Yes. How would you go about designing this? Um, probably easier for showing the laptop, really. Okay, but, it, um, it looks fairly, it's like a something you could, you know, it's a complete discrete project that doesn't look too complex. It's not, the only problem with this is the stairs. Right. The stairs are a bit fiddly. Yep. Just because stairs are fiddly, because you've got all the steps, and if you get one wrong, they don't all line up. <laughs> right. But other than that, it goes together relatively quickly. Right. See, um, it's effectively just four walls, two little bits of roofs. Mm -hmm. This bit all slots together, yep. and it just drops in, so it's right. not too bad. But okay. Norton Bridge is still there. Right. They've taken the roof off. Yep but the actual base is still there. Right. So you can go on Google Maps, get the dimensions very quickly. Okay. Is then that a valuable resource for you, Google Maps then? Google Maps is brilliant. It, um, you just right click, measure distance, and you've got the outline of your building. Right. Um, even if it's not there, you can often see the old footprint where buildings were. Right. Or if it's a housing estate, you can yep. see where the roads are still there. Right, yeah. So then you know the, you can go and go to an old map Get the size of a road and yeah. size, multiply it all, all down. And as long as it looks right, it is right. Yeah. If that's two foot short, yeah. you aren't going to know. Right. As long as it looks like Norton Bridge, it's right. fine. Um, then there's, on SketchUp, you can load 2D pictures, put the perspective lines in, and then you can model that onto a 3D model. Right. So you can actually turn a 2D image into a 3D image quite quickly. I have SketchUp, but I don't do that with it. 
it's I can show you on the laptop later, okay, but it, yeah. it, it does work quite well. Right. But again, it won't get you millimetre precise. Right. And because all the pictures you can get off the internet are all different focal lengths and different yeah. lenses, they don't all match. Right. But it's close enough to But it'll look right when yeah. it's done. Cool. Brilliant. Um, I see yeah. there's something standing against the wall there as well. Yeah, so um, that is a O gauge low relief warehouse. A friend of mine bought, um, what are the, uh, Skytrex uh, resin building. Right. And he was really pleased with it. Except for every time he went to a show, he saw the same building on, the, on all the layouts. It, and as soon as he saw it once, he saw it over and over again, just yeah. because he kept looking for it. He couldn't unsee it. Yeah. So he wanted something <coughs> similar but different. Right. So it's the same kind of shape-ish, but different. So it's got proper opening windows, vents, sky, the north lights are actually open when on the sky track, mm. they're not. Um, but again, that was just a test one, so I just, I don't need it. But right. It's too, a lot of my prototypes go to the local model shop in Burslem. Okay. He used to be my school teacher, so. All right. Biology teacher. Um, the Hobby Goblin in Burslem, but it's a bit too big for him. It's like this is too big really for him. This, yeah. yeah. Well, O-Gage, <coughs> it's not really a place, it, I'm not talking Stoke Down, but it's not a, it's you more, need a lot of space yes. and a lot of money for O-Gage, mm. where it's more engage and double around here, generally speaking. As you can move up to Cheshire, mm -hmm. it changes more. Right. If that's a water wheel on that chimney, is it in the wrong place? It is in the wrong place. Um, that was for Kevin, or is for Kevin. Right. And it turns the water wheel, there's a little motor inside. Right. And Kevin was sh showing it to somebody, and he forgot about the wire, and it wrapped around and snapped it. <laughs> so I've got it back to fix the water wheel. The, so I've made the new uh, wheel. Right. And it goes in here somewhere. There it goes in. Okay. It just spins around. What yeah. gauge is that? This is O gauge. Right. See the little, it's only a little cheap Chinese uh, geared motor. Oh yeah. But, um, but you get realistic speed. Yeah, as long as you don't run them at the rated voltage, they're fine. Okay. If you rate them at the rated, if you run it, so that's a, it's either 24 volts or something. Right. Run it at that speed, they are very noisy. Right. Run it at five volts of USB, it's quiet. Okay. So well. You don't need the torque to turn a little paddle motor. Um, water wheel. Water wheel. So. But that's, I'd like say, cheap, you know what I mean? Relatively cheap. What size is the bed on this laser? It's a meter by 600. Oh, same size as mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could just, just fit a four foot by three foot in this gap here. Right. And what's on the laser now, what's being cut? So this is the, um, for the uh, Norton Bridge signal box. Right. The, uh, is that the plan there? That is the drawing there. So it's doing four of one, and then just to fill the sheet, it's doing one of the other. Light burn. Light burn's brilliant. I'd love to use it, but my laser won't, uh, won't, won't operate with it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, How do you find the optimization on it? It was better than it is now. They right. Did, they did an update, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Right and it's not as good. Okay. Well, the, this, the route planning isn't as good. Okay. For bricks. Everything, for this, it's perfect. <coughs> right. For bricks, it makes a huge difference if you have them horizontal or vertical. Right. So, um, this is another mistake. I'm wrong size sheet. Okay. If you do the bricks that way, yeah. that takes 40 minutes. Okay. That way it takes an hour and 10. All right, well, yes. And it's just, what it's trying to do is trying to minimise the movement of the the laser on the big gantry moving. Yeah. So it, it prefers to go left and right than it yeah. up and down. Right. But because it doesn't... It, you see all the little uh, individual course of the bricks? Yes. Instead of going up and down, going duh, 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 it kind of does a bit, moves, does a bit, and does it this way. Okay. When it's this way, it does a duh, 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 and it does it in proper rows and columns. Okay. And that's just the optimization to, is to reduce the movement of the of the gantry going up and down because there's more weight. 
is that <clears throat> to reduce the overall movement or to do <clears throat> the most efficient path? No, it's to reduce the, from what I can gather, it's to reduce the, the forward and the up and down movement. Okay. Or the, uh, side to side's good, up and down is... Yes, bad, or X and Y is X and y. technical. Um, because you've got more weight yeah. with the whole gantry moving yeah. backwards and forwards, where left and right, it, um, but again, the earlier versions didn't do it. Didn't matter which way it was, the optimization right. was great. You can't roll it back? I can, but then there's other features on the newer version. That you want. Better, so. All right. And it's not a big problem, it just means I orientate the, the wood and the right way for doing bricks. The original board, it'd be down here, hang on. So we're talking about the driver board for uh, Phil's highly modified laser. Yeah, the original board. Which should be coming to an end soon. So is that, what's that, the that's, control? That's the original controller that came with it, the Chinese original. Right. And it worked fine, except for the motor, the two motors that move the laser, left and right and up and down. Yeah. This was, the, either, the motor was either moving full speed or it wasn't. Okay. So it was either full speed or stop. So it couldn't slow down for a corner or something? No. So what was happening, the, as you were cutting, it was moving say 100 millimeters to the right yeah but only coming back 98. Uh, okay and then the, whatever you're cutting was slowly walking away built in uh, backlash generator yes. so I, when i bought this i knew the cheap chinese stuff was rubbish right and there's um a, an arduino project called gerbil okay or gerbil depending on your pronunciation it's a pro mini or something that's a um, no no Oh, okay. So that's a genuine nano, okay. not a uh, clone. Right. Um, so running gerbil, you can actually control step motors straight from light burn. Okay. The problem with an Arduino, so this worked fine for, I don't know, six, eight months. Right. Cutting. Then as soon as I wanted to do any engraving, which I haven't got here. There's that. Cobbles. Okay, yeah. For the engraving. It's a big job for that, is it? It's because it's a stepper motor. You've got to send pulses. Yeah. Every so many pulses to move so distance. Yeah. So engraving, you need 400 milliseconds. Right. Which I think it's what is it now? 150 pulses times 16 for the micro stepping. Right. Per millimeter. Right. Okay. So what's that? Uh, say it doesn't matter. Say 2,000 steps per millimeter. millimeter. So per axis. When you're travelling at 400 millimetres per second, right. that is too many pulses for the Arduino to generate. Well, it's only 16 megahertz, That's isn't it? That's the problem. It? So yeah. you can only get about 10,000 pulses per second. Right. Which, for this speed, is yeah. more than enough. Yeah. For engraving, is not enough. So the gerbil um, software for the Arduino, they do one for the ARM32 processor. And I think that's 100 and odd. 100,000 pulses a second or something. So you've changed the old one for uh, an so, ARM processor? Yes. I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it's been in there for now four or five years. Oh, okay. Um, and it works great. And Brilliant. one of those was about 40 quid, give or take a okay. bit. Even these were cheap and awful Chinese ones, about 200 odd quid. Okay. So it's a no-brainer. And that does everything you could have wanted to do. You know. So would I be able to... <coughs> So the question was, why are these sound boxes made, 3D printed, at an angle? On the skew. So, when it prints, it prints yeah. this way. Okay. And comes out of the resin that way. So it's, this is a resin print, yeah. right? So you, you've got to imagine it's growing from the resin. Okay. So you need, you need it somewhere to start from. Yeah. If you start on the skew, you get a little tiny point for it to grow from. Right. And it grows out from there. Okay. If you do it flat, it's got to support it where it's not supported. Right. So it gets like a little dip. Okay. To do it on the skew, you get a better um, you get a better finish. Okay. The problem with doing it on a skew is if it doesn't get that first little bit secure, yeah. it peels off. Okay. And then it screws it all up because it's moved. Okay. And how many of these are you printing at a time on your? 10. 10. 10 speakers. And these are all perfect. What are the small things then? These are the vents for the um, signal box, not Right. Much. They go, whatever, what have I done with my 
What's it called one? The reject. There. There's that okay. one. Okay. Oh yeah. Very nice. So um, yeah, I get ten big speakers. I've got thirty six of these vents in one go. Right. And I get about 25, 24 little speakers. And you're going into production with comms masts as well? No. Oh. They were... Because resin printing takes time by height, not by volume. Right. It takes as long to do one as it does to do 60. Right. Because as long as you fill it in the bill plates, yeah. you may as well do 60. Okay. These are quite fragile, so you get a lot of failures. All right. If you look at that one, how bent it is. Right. Because it, got, it broke there. Okay. So if, I print, if Pete wanted two, when I printed two, yeah, you don't. Yeah. And one fails, I've got to print another print. Right. So I thought, because you get a high failure with them, I may as well just fill the bed up and print them. Right. And then pick the best just ones. Just resin. Yeah. Um, they're a bit too delicate to post, that's the other problem. Right. So, you need a tube or something, wouldn't you? Yeah. But again, it was a question of, I need this many guaranteed, yeah. just fill it in and do with it. Okay. But we can just load the coral up first. See, this 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 computer is on a Intel Celeron dual core processor. Right. Yeah. That's uh, 12 years, 13 years old now. Okay. But it's on all day and it just works. It's just a bit slow. It's fine. So. So it's driving the laser. So all it does is drive the laser, the CNC, and the vinyl one at a time. Okay. Depending on. Uh, so, so we're in coral draw now. Yeah. So this, for example, is the... The brickwork? The, no, this is oh. the outer ring for the advertising boards. Oh, okay. And then these are the, the, the tiles for the windbreak. Yeah. That's on the layout. Right. But you can just select them, push this little macro button there, give the computer time to think, close that one, and it moves it straight into light burn. Oh, that's neat. That's a lot easier than the steps I go through yeah. to to get into my drawing program. And then I work on colours for everything. Yep. Which you can't really see on here, but red is two and a half mil yep. MDF. Blue is uh, 0 0.8 mil ply. Right. Orange is engraved. Right. Uh, pink is four point. I just keep the colour. Yeah. And all my drawings are all colour coded to the thickness of the material. So you, your workflow is streamlined? Yes. Because the biggest factor with lasering is you're working to your material thickness. Right. 3D printer, one bottle, do any size you want. Yep. Where with laser, you are stuck to material thickness. Okay. So behind you, this is the 0.8 mil. Yeah. This is the one and a half mil. Yeah. Two, two and a half. Everything else in MDF because I don't use that much of it. Right. Uh, six mil ply. That's yeah. that birch. Yes. That popular pop for baseboards. Nine mil MDF. Then you've got all the coloured plastics. And right. The problem with the plywood. Is the warp down it? Yes. It warps, it warps terribly. And Which, you don't have a vacuum bed on your laser? No, because it's pointless. Because what, cutting through all these windows... As soon as you cut a hole in it. Yeah, it's okay for big blocks, but little mm. tiny details. Mm. It just sucks the bits out and then you've got a hole and you lose your vacuum. Right. Hey, so, we're ready. So like, like so. Yeah, so what we're looking at here? This is the um, drawing for the platform, underside platform, no, platform buildings under the canopy. So these under under the Milton Keynes station? Yes. How many buildings are we looking at there? Nine. I can say if that was one, it's I mean, complex. Yes. Nine, so okay. So there's effectively four walls for each building. Yep. So there isn't that much there. So again, I work in colour coding. Yes. So there's the blue for the cut file. Right. Orange for the engrave. Yep. And we've got the two mil, so that's the floors and the roofs. Okay. So two mil is yellow. Yep. And then two and a half mil is red. Okay. And then that, just those three sheets are for all the nine buildings. Okay. And then we'll cut them now and start assembling them ready okay. for the layout. We're going to do just one or all of them? We'll just do one. Brilliant. I'm okay. not wasting all the material, I'll do it twice. <laughs> no, no. Um, what I need to do is... So on the left you've got the pieces we're going to use for this job. Yeah, I just need to find one door there. And a mirror door. There we go. So that we'll just cut these bits first, just to save a bit of time. I 
and these are as modelled on making tracks three. So this is the one we'll use to go on the uh, platform. So this is on platform, well, island three, okay. between platform five and six. Okay. <laughs> it's on the little building, but we'll export that out to, there we go. Oh, why is it missed? Because this is the only problem with that macro. If it's not on a page, right, it won't, um, if it's on the master uh, layer, it won't export it. This is the macro that puts it straight into Lightburn? Yeah. That's brilliant. So, we will go to current position. This will also give us size what we need, so we need 66 by 89. Okay. We'll find a bit of scrap, that looks like 66 by 89. How thick is that? This is 0.8. Okay. I always work the bottom left on anything. Just yep, that's your it. zero point. Yeah. Really, you should work top left and work. I work bottom left, I always have, and I'm wrong. You, the reason you should work top right is you're closer to the laser. Yeah. So you, you, you get most power and um, most accuracy up top right, top left, I mean. I think it's the lights that are killing me in the I wall. Turn them off. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll probably won't have light then. The um, again, light burns great. Yeah. The preview said two minutes fifty. Yeah. The stream completed in two minutes forty-nine. <gasps> Whoops! Don't break my speakers. Sorry. Right. Speaker man will shout at me. I did that to Aaron's loco. Yeah, I remember. He was very okay about yeah. it. <laughs> Behind the scenes, I'm sure he was cursing me. Yeah. The problem with laser, and you get all these off cuts that are good that are useless. Yes. So there we are. So that then is the sidewall. That's actually the wrong piece, you know. It is the wrong piece, never mind. But you get the idea. Yeah. Do you have a preferred glue for assembly needs? Do you super glue? Super cyano, right. Yeah. There are other better glues, but super glue is the quickest, and I just haven't got time to wait. And there's no load on these, is there? No. But the uh, strength is from assembling, isn't it? Yeah. And super glue is strong anyway. Right. The the problem you have with MDF is because there's no grain. You just pull the top layer off, so the glue is stronger than the base wood. Yeah. Where with um, PVA, it's got time to sink in and um, right. What's it called? Because a lot of people don't want to build something and then go straight to painting. Oh, so you can put a few bits in the box and they can have a yeah, practice. Yeah, so, for example, if you want to do smoke gauge bricks, yep. have this scrap of off-cut and have at it. Have a go. The, um, and then stuff like this that I've cut off wrong, I keep right. with spares in case anybody breaks this bit. Right. Then people you've got... don't, but it's yeah. always a spare just in case. So now we've got our little shop for the station platform. Yeah, this isn't a shop, it's a, um, it's like an office-y, like okay. the cleaning the things. All right. There isn't much to them, really. There's just the base, two side walls, two end walls, and a roof. So Are I'm these going, these painted or going to be painted on Pete's layout? Yes. On making tracks three? See, I haven't got the mirrored glass here. It's all at Pete's. Yeah. But, um, so that will then get glued onto there. Right. But I'll uh, glue the main bit up first. 
And there's nine of these? There's nine buildings, only one of these. Okay. There's, there's three of the shop, two waiting, uh, three waiting rooms, right. one of these, and then two long toilet blocks. Right. See, they added platform six after they made it. Right. So the platform six buildings have got no windows along the outside because they didn't even, it's because there's no trains there. Right. But, uh... See, um, this is why Superglue is great, because it's, it's, you don't need the strength, you just need it quick. Yeah. Oh, they do go together quick. Yeah. Then, uh... See, I, I try and make everything so it... You sealed the edge. And not only that, it hides all the joints. Yeah. But it does mean you've got to do stuff in the right order. So obviously when these bits go on here... See, my original plan was to engrave the, uh, the tile pattern Right. Onto here straight away. Yeah. Because I don't really like cladding stuff twice, you know, making yes. it and then cladding it. Twice the effort. Well, it's just, it's a pain. But in real life, on the tiles, they stick out. Right. They're not flush. Yes. So on the actual edge of the building, they can't, the tiles sit right. like so. So you can't actually do that. Yeah. Stickler right. for detail, eh? I, yeah. So the uh, laser lid doubles as a workbench, does it? As like, does the chest freezer and everything else. If it's flat, you're using it. Yeah. The, the, the reason I like using this and the chest freezer yeah. is you have to get in them. Right. So it means I have to keep them clean. Right. If, if it's a table like that, I kind of pile it on. Yeah. But because you have to get in it, I have to keep it relatively clean. Counting to ten. Yeah. See this. This is from Tool Station. Okay. It's cheap. Yeah. But it's a little. It, it's not the quickest at setting. Okay. Is it a medium or a thin? It's a medium. Mediums are a bit slower, aren't they? Yeah. Setting. They do do a thicker one that's even worse. But they're great for gap filling. And that's well, it's thing. cheap. Right. Um, the best stuff is Poundland or B and M stuff. Right. Which is cheap, but you don't get much, so it works off expensive. Right. Well, this is like two quid a bottle. The Deluxe Rocket Glue is very good, mm -hmm. but that's like ten quid a bottle. Mm -hmm. So, which when you're mainly making one isn't a problem, but when you're doing little teams or yeah. even doing that little um, low relief thing, will use a whole bottle. Yeah. And when I'm not actually making it to sell, just to make sure it goes together, it's a waste of. This is why I don't like cladding stuff. Right. Just, just so then that will um, sit right there. Yeah. But that needs painting first for the door. Right. 
and then it needs the mirrored glass sticking right. to the back of this before Got it's it. assembled. Like I say, you just get that little bit of a... That little gap there is meant to be there. Right. That like overlap. Yeah. It's not meant to sit flush, it's meant to... Then when it's on the layout... Like I said, there's no window in it because yeah. that bit of track wasn't there when we built it. Right. They added it afterwards. Can we put it on here? Yeah. Um, I can stick it on if you want. No, it's alright. No, don't do that. Yeah. Because you've got a useful building until you stick it on. Yeah. Well, I haven't really. Okay. We can lie and pretend it's a useful building then. Yes. No one will notice. Well, I'll do. I'll just stick a bit of glue on here to okay. it off. I'll forget to edit that out. Yes. I'm quite I, good at leaving things in that shouldn't be. Yes, yes, yes. I don't see what's wrong with it shooting no. them. If, uh, if you don't want it to be on film, don't say it. Yeah, that's all right. But it's very easy to forget that somebody's filming you. I know. You. <laughs> no. Especially when... It's not like it's a, a one-off thing. People yeah. are always there filming yeah. and it's so it's easy. It's regular. You know, one day you're there, then the next day Channel 4 is there, then Mike's there from Homie Mag, and then it's mm. Richard from Acura Scale. Yeah. And when Richard's there, he's just taking photos, so it's not a problem, but then you're there, you're filming, and... And the microphones are switched on all the time. There we go. So again, the roof doesn't sit flush either, it sits yes. offset. But that's got a platform of a uh, roof above its head. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So, yeah. Like I say, that needs the, that's painting green. Yeah. That's got the mirror on it. Well, we'll see them on the, uh, on the actual layout when we yes. film next.